Candy here, and I'm here with Hair Teasing 101, how to get volume and tease your bangs, the rest of your hair, whatever you want. And I'm going to show you guys some special tips and tricks I picked up from doing um, makeup, and I used to do hair too when I first started doing hair and makeup. Um, but I learned this from a lot of amazing celebrity um, hairstylists I've seen work their magic. So. There's two ways, this way with the comb, or rat tail comb, any kind of comb, and then a round bore bristle brush, it's so hard to say. But this is gonna be your best friend, and I've seen hair on runways, TV shows, movies, everything, and this is how it gets amped up so it'll really stay. Um, with your comb, you can take your little section, and take your comb, and then you're gonna, you know, do your teasing, and yeah, you'll get a little volume like that. But I will show you the difference with the bore bristle brush. We'll take a little section again. And all you're going to do is you're just going to stick the bristles up into your hair and push in. And I only have to do it like two times. And look at the difference in volume that you're, this is not a cute look. But this is, you're going to comb it down. But that's the difference. So I'm going to show you if you want volume in the sides, you're just going to stick it in a couple times. And this is much less damaging to your hair. Then you're going to brush it out. Same thing a couple times over here. And again, this comes right out when you wash your hair, when it gets wet, all the teasing you did. It's just basically bunching it all up and it'll just all come out. So you can hairspray. Some people hairspray before they start teasing. I think you should do it afterwards because then when you spray it, you're making it stiff and then you're going in and ripping in with the brush and it's going to be more damaging to your hair. So I always, I'll just go in and give it a little spray, work it in with your fingers. Do the same thing over here. And that way you're just protecting your, the strength of your hair. Now I'll show you the bangs and to do the top. And you can do the same thing. You can take your clip if you want to too and section it also. So you may want to start. You can either start and pull all of this hair to the side. And you want to get the back of the hair too. So you want to make sure you lift this part up. Tease under here. And then I'll lay that forward. Grab the next section down with my fingers. Tease that forward, then you can comb all that back and then smooth it down with your brush. Now we'll do the top part and my bangs are going to go, they're going to go over to this side today. So I'm going to start by just moving some of this hair over to this side. And we're just going to lift little sections, probably like the diameter of your brush. And then just go in, remember stick your brush up in and then push down. And then I want some of my bangs to be side swept in the front. So I'm going to just let some of these guys hang out there so they can go down. And then I, I'm not really that particular when it comes to the top. So I just go in and tease. And then I'll let that little section fall down. I'll go in and tease over here. And then you can pick up whatever areas you see that look flat. Just go in and tease those. This is looking a little flat, so we'll go right here. And it always looks craziest before you comb it out and smooth it, so don't worry. We're gonna smooth all these guys out. And then you just kind of shape it with your hands, so you just kind of lift it up, spray a little hairspray. If anybody wants to know, this is GHD Ultimate Hairspray. I really like it. I guess it won a bunch of awards, and I can see why, because I kind of like it. Now for the side swept bangs, you're just going to kind of move them down and then to the side. And hopefully my bangs are going to... Hair never really listens to you. I want them to do that. So move them down and over and we're going to give them a little spray. Ah, I'm going to cover my eyes. So they will want to stay over there. And then we'll pull this down. And then if we want this area, just go in with your fingers and kind of retossel the teasing that you did. You can take a bobby pin and anchor this to the side if it's really being out of control or if your bangs are really long. And then if you want any more lift anywhere, just go back and tease. I'll even do, cause just because my hair is a little on the thinner side, I'll just kind of pump it up that way. And brush these guys down. And then I always like to um, finish smoothing it out because once you tease it, it can kind of make it a little crazy. And I like this Goldwell Star Polish to smooth hair down. So I just put my fingers in it a little bit, rub my hands together, and then you want to get all the ends of the hair real good. And then kind of go over where you tease so it looks all straight and nice. And there's your volumey teasing hair. If you want really Tease up hair, like say you want this to be big like this in the back, 
Then you'll just go pull it, your hair up this way, tease this way, and then just keep laying it back and just keep teasing it up. You don't want to tease on the side that you want to look pretty. So if we want all this smooth in the front, we're going to tease all this underneath. So you can do kind of like mohawk -y hair or a pompadour. And then you can tease it back and pin it up that way. So there's teasing for all, for all different directions of your hair. I hope this helped. Happy teasing. Remember, you need a round brush, some hairspray, and some hair. Have an awesome hair day, guys. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.